Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Hello there. You're welcome to my lecture series on assignment model. We are going to look at one more example on how to deal with profit maximization using the assignment model. Let's quickly go to our workboard and see how we can solve such problems. And here we have a case of um, four salesmen asked to be assigned are to be assigned to four clients with investment potentials. The expected investments are given in the matrix below. Use the assignment model to assign the salesman to the client to maximize investments. So this is a case of maximization. So to do this, we have to convert these initial um, matrix into a minimization mode. To do that, we will identify the highest, the largest value here. We deduct the highest value from itself and all the other values in the matrix from it. In that way, we will have converted this matrix into a minimization mode. So let me write here convert to minimization minimization matrix okay convert to minimization matrix i said to do that what we're going to do is we're going to identify of a b c and d now from this um tape from this table of the matrix which is the largest value can you see the largest value here the largest value here is 220. The largest value here is 220. So we are going to deduct all the elements, all each of these elements from 220. So in that case, the first one there will be 160. That is 220 minus 160, 160. The next one will be 100. The next one will be 20. The next one will be 100. I trust you are following. I have deducted all these values, these values for 220. So the next one will be 0, the next one will be 40, the next one will be 120, the next one will be 20. Okay? The next line will have us have 100, then 60, then 40 then 70 then last one will have us as 60 and then 40 and 50 last but not the least we're going to have 20. so in this case now we have we have converted the they so this is um 220 from 160 that is 60 then 220 minus 80 will give us um, 140. Okay, thank you. That's 140. Thank you very much. Okay, let's now do our. Um, so we have uh, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay, so we have our matrix this way. Now, for us to do our row, I mean our row um, reduction or row operation, we have to identify the minimum of each of these. The minimum of each uh, of these of, of each row for here is going to be twenty, and then this one is already zero. The minimum here is forty, 
and the minimum here is what is 20 okay so let's now go up here and do our row our row uh, operation so the row operation will require that we deduct each um, we deduct this minimum value from itself and all the other elements in each row so our columns are a b c and d let me come to this size so and easily see the whole thing so that 20 from 160 will give us um, 140 20 from 100 will give us 80 20 from 20 0 20 from 100 will give us 80 the next line the next line will be the same thing so we have 0 and 40 120 and then 20. The next one will give us 60. 60 minus 40 will give us 60. I mean 100 minus 40 will give us 60. 60 minus 40 will give us 20. 40 minus 40 will give us 0. Uh, 70 minus 40 will give us 30. The next one, 60 minus 20 will give us um, 40. 140 minus 20 will give us 120. 50 minus 20 will give us um, 30, then 20 minus 20 will give us 0. Alright, let's look at this. Um, this is 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So for what we have, do we have any of these columns that do not have 0? Column A has 1, 0. Column B does not have a 0. Column C has two zeros and column D has just one zero. So because column C doesn't have a zero, we have to do column operation so that we can we can have a zero in there. And from what we can see, the minimum of this column is what? 20. So the minimum here, this is this zero. This will give us 20. This is zero and this is zero. So I write here column operation column operation will make, will make me do this c and d so that for the first column we already have 140 0 60 and 40. now since this is the minimum of this column we will we'll deduct 20 from itself and the others so we now have 60 20 from 40 gives us 20, 20 from 20 will give us 0, and 20 from 120 will give us 100. The next one will give us 0, 120, 0, and then 30. Okay, the last one will give us 80, 20, 30, and 0. So the same thing. Okay, and this is all right. So this is what we have. Now the next thing we do is to find out how many zeros can we cover effectively from what we have done um, so far. Let's look at that. Let's see how many zeros we can cover. We have one. Since we have two zeros here, we have one. Okay, we have two zeros here, two, all right, we have three, and then we have four. See that, you see how we've covered all the zeros, so we have four zeros, and we have four by four matrix, so this is an optimum um, assignment. So let's now, let's now assign the salesman to each client, so we have um, so this one, one, two, three, and then and four. All right. So for what we know, we'll look at each of the. Um, you look at this table. I mean this matrix, and identify the zeros that do not have any competition. So from there, we know where we are going to assign to. So looking at this, look at assignment, I mean, um, salesman two, for 
column A, there's no competition. So we're going to assign two to A. So two to A, all right, so client A. Now look at this again. Look at, there's no competition here. Can you see that? There's no competition here. So we're going to assign three to B. So three to B, okay? Now look at this, there's no competition here. So we're going to assign four to D, four to D, then naturally one will now take C. Do you see that? So the last slot will be for C. So in that way, we have assigned each of the salesmen to the client that will maximize the investment. Let's go back to our table and then pull out these values from our table to be sure that what we have done is to get the best of assignments. Look at what we have. Look at assignment one. Assignment one, we say we are going to assign it to, to C. And see, that's the highest. See, that's 200. So we are going to have um, investments here. Yeah? Let's have investments so that we have 200. Okay, client, I mean, a salesman two, we are assigned to A. You see that salesman two is A, and that's the highest of this. So that will be 220. Then salesman three, we are assigned to B. Salesman three is assigned to B. That's the best we can get. And that's 160. Okay, so that's 160. Then salesman D is assigned to assessment four, is assigned to client D. Look at assessment four, assigned to, to 200. So that's 200. So you see that we have effectively assigned these um, 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 salesmen to the clients. And these are the best we can get so that our profit is maximized. So let's add up the total assignment that we have. What we are going to get at the end of the day. This is zero and two plus six is eight. Two plus two is four plus one is five plus two is seven. So 780. Become 780 million, 780 thousand dollars, whatever you want to use in your own country. That is what we have as our answer. I want to thank you very much for joining me on this series that we have looked at assignment and model and looking at um, profit maximization. We are still going to look at one other aspect of assignment that we will talk about. Um, unbalanced assignment and also restricted assignment. We are going to look at that in some other videos that will be releasing uh, much later. I want to thank you very much for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to this channel and God bless you.